Gates crash back and a racing away. Ed VJ at the back of the field early on and Captain Marvel being restrained or trying to be restrained, taking a hold of the bridle. There's Captain Marvel, very strong around them. Musharaya, the black cab, first to react. The clear war is right there. Meredith Grey, French Princess, is moving around them now to pick up the key tempo. And there goes French Princess on by a neck. Captain Marble, freewheeling on the right-hand side and using up a lot of energy. Captain Marble, very strong, and now goes off to lead them. The rider has no control there and has to allow it to go on by on the outside girls got rhythm then we have french princess musharaya meredith gray waiting her turn three lengths to make up declare war further back ed vj captain marvel as they spin for home french princess moves to the inside musharaya got a beautiful rails run meredith gray down the middle and ed vj extreme outside captain marvel's had just about enough at the 200 and here's meredith Gray on the inside, French Princess. French Princess and Meredith Gray. All the while, Ed Vijay's running on. Meredith Gray with the head in front, French Princess. But it's number four, Meredith Gray. Yes, Ed Vijay. Late on. Meredith Gray, maybe from Ed Vijay. French Princess and a clear war in a photo. Number four, Meredith Gray might have clung on, but it's Desperately tight. Could go either way. Well, the naked eye, I thought number four, Meredith Gray, but we've had so many short head finishes of late. Meredith Gray, a whisker. Meredith Gray clings on, and it's becoming one of those days again where we're just getting short heads, and let's hope the rest of the afternoon's not like this. Meredith Gray by a whisker. Another stride, Ed VJ. Then French Princess. Declare war. Captain Marvel was just far too strong. 550 kgs of horsepower. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to fight this type of animal and had nothing to come late on. Meredith Gray hit the front at the right moment. Tristan got an in tremendous form for Mrs. Laura de Host and Mike de Host. Tinny Princelou, the Grey Zen, down the middle. Ed VJ is starting to cut into that lead stride for stride. The line comes just in time for the four. Meredith Grey at three rand. Back to the studio. Welcome back to the winners area and uh, just having a look it's Tristan Godden's only ride for the day and he said yep one ride one winner and uh, the owner tells us he's on his way back to Bloom one uh, race one winner so everybody's happy but Teddy's uh, still got unfinished business today Daniel is the groom of Meredith Gray he gets a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle he's left us uh, from the presentation to go and attend to his horse that's his first priority. But who hasn't left us is Tristan Godden. Well done. I always say any race meeting, but particularly on a Monday, because everybody says Monday racing is a quiet meeting, but my and my with finishes like that, there's nothing quiet about it. Yeah, no, definitely. I don't think it's going to be a quiet meeting today. You know, it's a competitive card, and, uh, you know, most runners today will have a, a chance on the card. So, yeah. You rode uh, Meredith Gray last time. You would have been pleased with that performance, and you would have been even more pleased that you got the ride back. Yes, no, definitely. I just must say a big thanks to Omtini. It's my first winner for him. Um, I rode the filly last time from a, a, a deep draw and we elected to give her a chance. And she ran a good race, so Omtini phoned me up and said, hey, would you like to ride this filly? I said, what a pleasure, you know. And well done to Mike and Laura. Nice to keep putting home the winners for them, you know. Uh, being a big supporter of mine and uh, I appreciate every, 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 everything. Well done. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day and with rides like this and with the uh, statistics like this I'm sure the rides will start coming for you shortly well done thank you let's get Oom Tini in <laughs> Oom Tini come on sprout met me and uh, well done to you and uh, well done to your whole team and we were talking Rahil and I about statistics and uh, you, you may have a small string but you have a competitive string well done no thank you Warren yes. you know it's always a pleasure to train some horses uh, for different people and uh, yeah, she's a lovely filly, you know. Um, she had three or four starts before and wasn't that great. And then we decided to take her back to the farm. She came back, she ran a fourth, and today she won. So, yeah, I think she, she, she might just go for a little break again now. Um, 
Um, she's not the biggest, and um, yeah, but she got all hard. And then I just want to say, Tristan, thanks a million. I really appreciate uh, the patience on the horse, you know. Uh, patience always count, and um, yeah, he rode a very nice race, yeah. Uh, well done to him. And then to Mike and Laura, uh, thanks a million. Laura, um, yeah, she, she loves her horses, I know Mike too. I think uh, Mike just liked the rugby more than horses, but uh, <laughs> yeah, Mike, uh, thanks for the other night at the rugby, uh, very nice, and yeah, may it continue. One more runner, um, expecting to be competitive there with Alta Alex? Yeah, you know what, uh, Warren, I think she's a very nice filly, I hope for the best there as well. Um, she, she's putting in good work, so if everything goes to plan, yeah, let, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'm not going to st uh, stuck my neck out there, but... Uh, Let's wait for the race and see what happens here. Lovely. Congratulations, Tini. Thank you so much. And just a big thanks for Elsa at home, uh, helping me with everything. And, and uh, yeah, may everything just go forward here. Lovely. For sure it will with an attitude, and a positive attitude like that. Come on, Mike, come and have a chat with me. First of all, thanks for making the trip all the way from Bloemfontein. I know you have business in KwaZulu-Natal, but nevertheless, you still got to get here, and we love having you here. Yeah, thanks, uh, Warren. Uh, yeah, I actually came for the rugby, so this is a bonus. Uh, yeah, we, uh, Tini and Elsa and myself went to the rugby on Saturday, so it was a good day. Um, and uh, yeah, to have a winner, uh, you know, on the Monday is, 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 is a blessing. Um, so yeah, I'm on my way back home now. She uh, was a little fierce in the race, but she ended up winning a lovely race, gutsy race. She fought for a win, and that's what you want to see in a race or that fight. Yeah, 100%. And uh, Tristan said she actually was looking for company. She idled in front. So, you know, when the horse came up to her, she stuck her head down at the right time. It was squeaky bum time. I thought Richard had got us, to be honest. Uh, so bad luck, Wendy. Uh, it's a game of inches, and fortunately we're on the right side of the inches. I just want to say uh, a big thank you to a few people. Uh, first of all, to Hayden Agrella, uh, Rocky's daughter. It's her 10th birthday. This one's for you, Hayden. Uh, and to the team at Fiddler's Green who prep all these horses for us. They bring our babies along. Uh, yeah, I mean, fantastic job to all of them there. Um, we even loaned uh, our groom to uh, Tinny today to come down and look after the horse. Uh, uh, great team effort. And then obviously to Tristan, uh, who's been very lucky with us. I mean, he's, 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 he's done an incredible job and, uh, uh, for us, and, and we're very grateful for the way he rides our horses. And uh, he understands what we want in a race and uh, how to look after our horses. So we're very grateful to Tristan and then Tina and Elsa. We go way back, actually, Kimberley days. Uh, you know, when we were in Bloom, we had a few horses with Tini and Kimberley, and uh, it's nice to have another winner with us, with him. This is the first one since he's been in Durban for us, so that's been great. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, thanks to everyone uh, who's involved in this, and uh, just uh, we're very thrilled because oh, and Vanessa Williams, who actually kind of bred the horse. Uh, I know Winston Charles in the book, but she brought, she raised it and and brought it up, and I bought it privately from her uh, on her recommendation. So. Uh, and she was a nice cheapy, so and a grazing as well, <laughs> for that matter. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. Go and enjoy the replay. Go and enjoy the champagne and orange juice, and travel back safely to Bloom. Yep. That's Michael De Haast, and uh, he's the owner of uh, Meredith Grey. The result: four six nine three. It is unofficial, but uh, it'll go official, I'm sure, shortly. Four six nine three. The replay is up next.